It's the women's 4x100 meters relay. Well, on season's best, you have to say that Ukraine are the favourites. And usually a very well drilled quartet. We remember back in 210 with them winning the European title on that occasion. Not quite as sharp as they were nine or ten years ago, but still very useful teams. So from the inside, Switzerland, Sweden, Czech Republic, Ukraine, Greece and Finland. Well, a good start from Ukraine. Anna Plotitsina takes over for the Ukrainians. On the outside as well, Finland running well with Leila Kempinen. And in the moment, oh, what a dreadful handover by Ukraine. And it's Finland now who take the lead round the bend, Annaline Kortoma. But now Switzerland really had a good couple of legs and bringing Switzerland home. Maria Kimumba, Switzerland, emphasizing their victory, taking a very good run in 43-11. Well, Majinga Kabunje made such a difference there on that third leg really change things around. They're struggling over the first two legs and then Kabunje doing extremely well round the bend. She is a very good bend runner. Helped certainly a little bit by dreadful final changeover by Ukraine. We'll look at that very closely. I wasn't sure whether a flag went up. We'll look very closely at whether that was indeed a legal change by the Ukrainians. They were in the lead at that point. It's Switzerland coming home in front. So a very convincing win in the end by more than a second, a huge margin at this event. Switzerland, 43-11, Czech Republic and Ukraine, second and third in this race, 44-30, 44-34. And those results will get amalgamated with the final B to bring up the final standings in this event. And it's actually stayed dry. I think that's important to note as well. Confirmation of the teams will be lining up, the six teams in this A final, using lanes two to seven. So Italy, Great Britain, Germany, France, Poland and Spain on the outside in lane seven. On your mark. So as they settle into their blocks. From the inside, it's Italy, Great Britain, Northern Ireland. Germany, France, Poland, and Spain. In there at the British leadoff runner, Crystal Awoa. And the world away very quickly for Britain. So too it's Ahi, as you might expect from the individual 100 meter winner. Good changeover between the French from Zahi to Ombisa Pazango. And now it's the French storming away. Spain at this stage doing well on the outside, as do the Poles. Germany and Great Britain a little way back. And now the French really storming around with Estelle Rafai. Having a great bend, well known as a 200 meter runner. Well, slightly sloppy changeover between the French. She's allowed Britain to close. And Britain's... Rachel Miller is doing a fine job, but France are going to come home thanks to Sarah Richard. And France, 43-10. So a good run from the French. Not quite as quick as their recent 42-93 announcing that they had recently, but 12 points for the French. So this is the French confirmed as the winners with 43.09, 12 points. And Switzerland, the winners of the B race, 43.11, they come through to take 11 points. It'd be nice to see France and Switzerland go head to head. It wasn't to be Great Britain, Northern Ireland finishing third in the combined standings, 43.46, and they take 10 points. Germany, Spain, well, those were the teams coming home in the A race, but Switzerland had a storming run in the B race. And yes, I think common sense, knowing their history,
should have prevailed and they should have been in the first final. But nevertheless, the Swiss take 11 points in their battle to avoid relegation. B race in the men's 4x100 metres coming up very shortly. Here is the start list. We have Sweden, Switzerland, Ukraine, Greece, Czech Republic and Finland. Don't think any of those can challenge the European record that is shown there in the right hand corner. But the times matter. I think it was even last year where we saw the B heat in the end being almost faster than the A races. So it doesn't matter which heat you are in. It all depends on the time. There, Groth for Sweden. Maslak, of course, a very strong bend runner in lane six there, leading off so. the Czech relay. They good off there. Maslak looking good. The Greek relay also looking good with Sikos. Good handoffs there from Maslak. The Czech relay looking to be leading here, have already made up the stagger on the Finnish team outside of them. But it looks a bit tight. Terrible exchange there from the Czechs. Now the Greek relay coming through strongly, as are the Ukrainians there. And the last exchange, the Ukraine's all clear. Greece behind them, Czech Republic in third. But it all went wrong in that second exchange for the Czech Republic that went off so strongly. Ukraine, Sergei Shmelnik bringing it home for the Ukrainian team. But I'm quite intrigued to see a replay of that second exchange. 39.02, the time to remember here. And there we saw it. We did think that there might have been a problem and the Czech relay disqualified, which actually means zero points in that. Here we have the confirmation. So Ukraine confirmed winners, Greece in second, and then Switzerland move up with the Czech Republic disqualified and no points, which could have an impact actually on their relegation position because I think it might be a little tight towards the end. So we will be keeping an eye on that. Any predictions? Well, I don't know. I think it's going to be very, very close. I fancy the French. Who doesn't? <laughs> There we go, last race of the day also gets away and fold there for France has a really good start indeed, already made up way on the pole and paying attention to the way they hand over also with the underhand baton pass, Jimmy Mikodu, Mikol there running very strong indeed on the second leg, terrible exchange from the French there, the Germans are doing pretty well and on the outside the Spaniards but it's France coming on first and the handoff to Christophe Lemaitre there from Zeze. Michel Paul for the Germans and Harry Akini Zaretti on the inside coming through strongly as well. But it's Christophe Lemaitre who brings it home for France. But I do want to see that second exchange from Jimmy Bico to Mikhail Meba Zeze because again they were very tight indeed. Uh, it's nice to see Christophe Lemaitre, perhaps not in full flow but certainly doing a very good job and contributing admirably to the French team. There we have confirmation for that A final. France given the win, no disqualifications in this one so it only sticks with that disqualification in the first heat with the Czech Republic. Poland there with the season's best, Spain and Italy behind them. And I think this heat was significantly faster overall. There was a fast time, of course, from the Ukraine with 39.02 in that first heat. So they'll move up a little. And here we have the final results there. As we can see, Ukraine moves into fourth. Poland still there, Spain and Italy. And then completing that results sheet is Greece, Switzerland, Sweden and Finland from that first heat. Zero points for the Czech Republic because of a disqualification. Uh, 
host of seasons best there for national teams but many of them many of Europe's top teams will be going to the IWF World Championships in Doha at the end of September B final as they like to call it the first of two heats of the women's four by 400 meters but by my reckoning I think they were German... already here second in the yep it's, uh, so they've overtaken France into second place so you saw the start list for the B final seeded on From the inside, it's Switzerland, Sweden, Czech Republic, Ukraine, Greece, and Finland. The referee just asking them to stand up. See in the lower right hand corner of your screen the long jumpers leaving with Michaela Mahambo. Just leaving the track for gaining 12 valuable points for Germany. Well, this is Anastasia Brzezgina, seems to have been around for ages. Still only 27 years of age. Wrapped attention of the rest of the teams on the sidelines as the track referee asks for quiet. So a green card, faulty start. Kimumba, the Swedish leadoff runner. Quiet descends on the Zavisa Stadium. Got two heats of the women's 4x400 meters to come. Two heats of the men's 4x400 meters. And in the field, the discus still going on. on your There's three events to be concluded here at this, the eighth edition of the European Team Championships. As the women go to their marks from the inside, Switzerland, Sweden, Czech Republic, Ukraine, Greece and Finland. Well, after a pause, they're finally away. Running very well on the outside is Martinen. Of Finland at this stage. The stagger doesn't unwind until after the first bend of the second leg. Rishkina also running well for Ukraine as they pass through 200 meters. And at this stage, it's Finland on the outside and Ukraine in lane five, leading the way over the six teams. Hoffman over at Czech Republic, also having a good run at this stage. Greece is Politi starting to close it down. So it's Ukraine and Finland, that's one and two at the moment. So Brzezgina hands over to the very experienced 400-meter runner, 800-meter runner, Tatiana Melny. Right, championship credentials. Well, Finland, Janine Nygaard takes over. Coming through strongly for the Czechs, it's Teresa Krechazilakova. Still Ukraine out in front at this stage. With Tatiana Melnik running very, very strongly indeed. Very tall Ukrainian. 
much more diminutive figures of Petra Zelikova. Also running well at this stage, panel of Switzerland. Water, who ran in the individual 400 metres for Greece, coming through. Ukraine handover from Melnik to Klimov. Klimov, the Ukrainian 400 metre runner. She's tearing away, but behind them, little to choose at the moment. Between Switzerland, Czech Republic, and Greece. Czechs now taking second place. Sela Perkova. Uh, doing very well, but there's little doubt at all it's going to take an awful lot to stop the Ukrainians at this stage. They've got a good 50 metres lead as they come into the home straight for the penultimate time. Gapavina Klimov will hand over to Anna Rishkova, who performed so well in the individual 400 metres hurdles. This has turned into a time trial for the Ukrainians. For the battle for second between Greece, Switzerland and the Czech Republic. Very close indeed. So, Anna Rishkova, home and dry, barring accidents. Behind them. Mado von Brova. Von Brova was biding her time, it seems, before closing down on the rather tiring Yasmin Geiger. Geiger, well, had a season's best in the 400 metres hurdles, but still not quite back to her best form. And it's Von Brova now trying to hunt down Rini Vasilou. He's having a very good run indeed, but it's Ukraine thanks to Anna Rishkova takes the win in 3.29.34. And this is a time we have to remember because, of course, we said these are two time heats. So regardless of this being the B final as it is built in the start list, is the fact that this time matters in the overall standing. So 3.29.33 for the Ukrainians could be important in the second heat. Here are the results of that B race. Yes, it's 3.29.33 for Ukraine. A season's best, but they haven't had many outings. Greece and Czech Republic following them home. 3.33.01, 3.33.24 are the times to keep an eye on. So, the final action as far as the women are concerned here at these, the eighth European Athletics Team Championships. This is the Super League. Spain, Great Britain, France, Poland, Italy and Germany make up the six teams in this A final. Well, Justina Svertiasetic on the hope final leg. And victory here will give them an unassailable lead leading into the men's 4x400 metres. As they settle down on the inside, it's Spain, Great Britain, France, Poland, Italy and Germany. Well, starting well, it's Bullmann on the outside for Germany. Also, as you might expect, Baumgart Bitten of Poland running well through the first half of this leg. Emily Diamond also having a very good run at this stage, getting right up on the shoulder of Carossier of France. Now Garbitton coming into the far bend. Now up on the shoulder of Chikbolu and Fulman. Emily Diamond has made up a lot of ground for the Briton in lane three. Holes hand over first. Great Britain, Northern Ireland second, Italy third. Baumgart Mitten has handed over to Anna Kielbasinska, who was in the individual 200 metres earlier. And we're seeing also Jody Williams, second in the 200 metres, as we were talking about earlier in the programme. She's starting to run a few 400 metres and has had a couple of good outings over one lap of the track for Britain. Closing down quickly now on Kielbasinska, the pole. 
still very much in contention. Germany, thanks to Nelly Schmidt and the Italian Vaya Polaronso, just rounding Schmidt and now bearing down on Britain and Poland. So Italy at this stage still very much in contention, but they have their two best runners on the first two legs, whereas the talents more evenly spread out between Great Britain and Poland. On to the third leg, and it's Holland. Koalik of Poland with Great Britain Zoe Clark leading the way. But Poland has such a strength in depth over 400 meters. Zoe Clark tearing away through the first 200 meters, but Olaf Koalik keeping pace with her now upon her shoulder as they come into the home straight. And it's the Poles just rounding Clark of Great Britain. Follow the Koalik now starting to just move away from the Britain. Italy still very much in contention thanks to Rebecca Borga. So the Poles hand over about three metres, four metres clear. With just one stint to come. And who would you have on the last leg? Well, Justina Svaiti Ersetic. Individual 400 metre winner. And now she's going to really pour it on to bring the poles home 329 the ukrainians won the a final and it looks as though she's going to be well inside that time at this stage still a fine battle behind her between britain and italy italy's tevesien having a fine race great britain's jessica turner battling with the italians for second place but running away from the rest and a good 15 meters clear Justina Svaiti Ersetic brings the poles home. 3.24.82. Britain takes second, Italy third. We'll give you confirmation of those times in just a moment. But not only do Poland win the women's 4x400 metres, that means that Poland are confirmed as the European team champions. Well, they've done well over the years. Third back in 2014. Second two years ago first this time European leading time 324 81 for the Poles and behind them Great Britain Northern Ireland Italy Ukraine the winners of the B final taking fourth overall Germany and France that completes the top six 12 points go to Poland with just one event still remaining Poland. Well, be interesting to see how they do. Where we see Switzerland, Sweden, Greece, Czech Republic, Ukraine and Finland. So the same teams as we saw in the women's team. And they are also the teams that are currently making up the back end of the standings. So uh, that is something to look out for here. Uh, we will go through the lineup properly in a second. First time clear out of the blocks. Men to watch here could be Danilo Danilenko for the Ukraine in lane six, who's running well, also running well. Jan Tazar for the Czech Republic, I think. And for Sweden, also going well on the inside, Anton Sigurdsson. The stagger, of course, does look slightly different in a 4x4 relay compared to an individual. 400 meter race but all coming through strongly on the outside leading at the moment Finland there Christopher Enval and as I said Danilo Danilenko leading things off for Ukraine looking very strong Jan Tazar for Czech Republic also coming through strongly over these last few meters but it's Ukraine handing over the baton first as Danilo Danilenko passes on to Ole Mirantes he is being chased by Mikhail Tesensky of the Czech Republic. So it's Ukraine and Czech Republic having a very close battle here. Who gets out first as they move on the inside lane? Sweden behind the pair and Switzerland in fourth. Czech Republic leading as they move on to the home straight with Tesensky 
building up a little bit of a gap. The Swiss coming through strongly on the outside, as do Sweden, as the Ukrainians tire a little, but it's still Czech Republic leading the way as we move to the third leg runner. And for the Czech Republic, Patrick Sorm, a very accomplished runner indeed. He takes the baton in first and is instantly building up a little bit of a gap again. Ukraine have come through strongly there after their second leg runner faded a bit in Switzerland in third. Now moving up on the shoulder of the Ukrainians, the Czech Republic with Patrick Sorm still very much leading the way, but the Swiss are having a fantastic third leg here thanks to Vincent Notz on his shoulder, Dimitro Bikulov now making up way, closing the gap on Sorm a little, who is starting to tire. Fantastic finish there from the Ukrainian, but it's still the Czech Republic leading as they hand over to the final leg. Witt Müller has already proven himself here over the four hurdles over the last four uh, two days. He takes the baton for the Czechs and is being chased down by Oleski. Postinakov, the Ukrainian, and it's Czech Republic leading the way from the Ukraine. Quite a gap then to Switzerland and behind Switzerland. I think it might be Greece that have moved up now. It is indeed Greece there behind the Swiss, but at the front it is still Czech Republic leading from Ukraine. The Ukraine trying to close the gap, but I do still think that Bit Müller can hold on. Fantastic closing speed there from the Ukrainian. As he approaches the final, Bidmuller nearly stumbles there but manages to hold on. Great finish there from Oleski, Pozdinakov from Ukraine. But it is the Czech Republic that takes the victory here in this B final in 3.05. Ukraine behind him in 3.06. And Switzerland come through for third in 3.07. So these are the times you have to remember for the next heat. Him. As we take a look at those results from the B final of this men's 4x4, Czech Republic leading the way ahead of Ukraine and Switzerland. 3.05, 96 the time. We will have to remember as we move into the A final. Ukraine there with 3.06.04. And Poland, as we said, confirmed the title winners, but it could still change in silver and bronze so we will see and of course Italy still in there not completely to be ruled out either but the lineup coming up now in this men's 4x4 relay of course the Poles would want to bring home the victory in this final event to cement their status atop Europe in this European Team Championships. Seven. Off they go, and we can see, of course, there is a big gap between Husilos on the inside and uh, the Italian relay because there is no one in lane three. But the Poles looking pretty strong. The Frenchman also, Han, making up quite some way at the moment though still fairly spread out as we will see how this race develops as they move on to the home straight the frenchman hand looking good as does suvara for poland and on the outside lang is still holding on the italian scotty also coming through strongly but poland now surging there the frenchman tiring quite a bit and poland will be the ones to hand over the baton first as Rafael Melko, very accomplished runner indeed, takes the baton. Italy on the inside coming through strongly now with Matteo Galvan and the French also there in contention. So it's still very close with France and Christopher Naliali taking the lead now. Melko there for Poland now on the shoulder of the Italian and also still Marvin Schlegel there as well. Frenchman Christopher Naliali with a very long stride. But on his inside, the Italians trying to be a bit cheeky there, moving through. And Omelko on the outside coming through strongly as well. So Matteo Galvan with a fantastic leg there, has to move out now. And the Frenchman on the inside says so there's some pushing and shoving going on. The Italians hand over first to Brian Lopez. And 
Poland also over to Kraftchuk moving into the lead. The Frenchman now, uh, Thomas Jordier on the shoulder of the Polish athlete. So there was a bit of pushing and shoving because of that great finish from the Italian. But Poland leading with Lukas Kraftchuk and on his shoulder, Thomas Jordier. The Italians also still with Brayon Lopez. Uh, very much in contention. I think the Germans did uh, uh, Treft pull up there. I think he's injured. And I did say they have to get the baton round, so it could get really tight at the top indeed with the Frenchman now overtaking Poland's Lukas Kraftchuk and the Italian also on his shoulder, handing over to David Ray now on the final leg for France. Loic Prevot in the lead on his shoulder. We have Patrick Dobek, a very good runner as well, and David Ray, the individual winner from yesterday, on the shoulder. The Germans still there, but they will be finishing dead last after that injury from Johannes Dreyfus at the front. The French are still leading with Loic Prevot, a very tall runner, but David Ray showed great strength in the individual 400 meters yesterday and is pushing the pace a little now. Also, Patrick Dobek roared on by the crowd in the stadium here is trying to push and David Ray with another incredible finish from the Italian is overtaking Dobek and is challenging Prevot and can he catch him there on the line I think he does and it is indeed David Ray with yet another fantastic finish catches the Frenchman on the line and secures maximum points there for the Italian team the Germans there coming through now but of course will probably get only one point in this, or what, two points in this relay, but what a performance from David Ray. After already two incredible races from him individually, what a race for the Italians. And that could have shaken things up a little there. As I said, Germany were in second position. Now will have dropped quite a few points. France did great there, but Italy, who were only one and a half points behind France, <laughs> really closely there, so there might have been a last-minute shake-up in this last event. There we have the result. European lead for Italy with that 3.02.04. Um, just ahead of, like, really four hundredths of a second ahead of France. Poland in third there. I'm sure they would have liked to win. And we can see there Germany 3.16. Of course, nowhere near the top, but that was mainly due to the injury we saw there. So here are the complete results. Italy lead, and then we can see Spain in fourth. Czech Republic from that previous race, Ukraine and Germany, as we said, just two points there because of the injury.